If you are computing definite integrals instead of indefinite integrals, it doesn't fundamentally change anything. You use integration by parts to find the indefinite integral, then apply the fundamental theorem of calculus. So for example, the integral from one to three of x e to the x dx. This is a classic application of integration by parts. I mean, this is the x becomes very simple when you take its derivative. The e to the x doesn't get any worse when you take its integral. So we can try letting u be x and dv e to the x. du is 1 dx, v is e to the x. And the indefinite integral is then u v minus the integral of v du or x e to the x minus e to the x plus a constant of integration. Although now when we come back to the definite integral and we use the fundamental theorem, that constant of integration is excluded. And we get three e cubed minus e cubed minus one e to the first minus e to the first. Now this happens to be a zero and three e cubed minus one e cubed can be rewritten as two e cubed.